Well, hello and welcome to a new video where we are going to test the performance of the Intel Iris 6 100 GPU in the game GTA 5. And this one sits inside a MacBook Pro 13 from 2015, which has an i5 as well as 16 gigabytes of dual channel memory. And let's see the settings that we are playing at today. And this is 7680p, and we're basically playing at the lowest settings available because obviously anything higher than that should be too much to handle for this old machine. We're playing obviously in the um, multiplayer mode right now. Um, so let's go and fetch a car here and get outside. But we're already seeing only 15 FPS inside the building. So that is a concern to me. But if you look at the GPU utilization, this is fairly low, actually, unlike the CPU utilization, which is super high right now. And I think if we are inside the city where it is quite crowded, then that should definitely be uh, something where our CPU is the limiting factor. But apart from that, uh, the GPU obviously should be the one which is holding this machine back. But yeah, let's see how it goes. I'm very interested to find out just how well this really old machine by now can play GTA in 2024. Obviously GTA 5 came out in 2013, I think, for the PlayStation and then in 2015 for the PC. But uh, I think it has seen quite a few updates since then, since there hasn't been a new GTA release uh, ever since. Um, so I really don't know, maybe actually the performance has gotten better or worse since 2015. So obviously I hadn't benchmarked the game back then, so I have no idea if that actually is the case or not. But yeah, it's obviously great to see for people who are maybe interested in buying something like this MacBook Pro to see just if they can actually play it nowadays. And maybe that has changed from uh, 2015, 2016, or maybe it has not. So I would just want to drive around the city for a bit, uh, get the attention of the cops here and see just how problematic <laughs> this is going to be if there are actually policemen chasing us here. What's the blue dot at actually? I think that's... isn't it a robbery mission that we can actually do? Oh god, no idea. Okay, but um, you can see that we are, oh, all the explosions going on, uh, already only in the tens of FPS, so like 14 to 15 FPS right now. Um, I can't play it. I mean, you can see the frame time graph, which is basically a complete flat line, which is the only straw which is keeping this machine uh, alive in this game and making the experience somewhat playable. Obviously, it's more of a slideshow at 16 FPS than it is a fluid motion gameplay here. But yeah, if I think if you have like a very flat frame time graph, it's not that bad to have low FPS in general. But obviously, we, I would like to see something around the 20 FPS mark because with these kind of FPS, if you're gonna play a very fast paced mission or something, then you definitely need something more to actually be able to aim at your enemies and opponents and NPCs and whatever. Um, and if you're, it's not getting better. I mean, I was really hoping that either outside of the city or uh, actually when we're playing for a bit, then the performance would get better. I mean, you can see that it really is our CPU, which is holding back the iGPU here, at least from the utilization. You can see that we're only sitting around the 69, 70% of the 6100 Iris GPU, while at the same time, our i5 is at 95% and 100% utilization right now. And it seems that the 16 gigabytes are also a plus for this game here, because we are at around 13 gigabytes of memory usage. And I actually, or at least it's memory allocation here. Um, and I actually don't have any other programs open in the background. So yeah, it seems to me that GTA 5 in 2024 actually does seem to require quite a bit of memory here. Okay, but yeah, uh, I really wouldn't uh, deem this 
super playable. I mean, it's barely, barely scratching at the playable uh, experience and it's absolutely not the enjoyable experience because you remember that we are playing at the basically lowest settings and I really don't want to turn the resolution down to something like 800 by 600 which was what I have seen in other YouTube videos uh, playing GTA 5 with this GPU from a few years ago because we really don't want to play at 800 by 600 even at the 13 inch screen. So yeah, I would really not uh, deem this playable on this machine. I mean, obviously you can see that I can play it in the multiplayer mode and I've already tested the single player mode before, which uh, did run a little bit better than the multiplayer here, like at around the, what, 20 to 25 FPS mark, basically all the time, even in the inner city. But most people probably are going to play the online player mode. And yeah, this one definitely doesn't cut it anymore in 2024. So yeah. If you have the MacBook Pro or uh, are thinking about buying one and want to play this game on it, uh, I really have to disappoint you here, but I really wouldn't play GTA on this machine.